that takes care of the weekend. But what of the rest of the week when we're not together? We all know what men are like. Oh yes, they're cunning and they're crafty and they'll try their soft soap on us. So this is what we do. If any of us should get the urge, heaven forbid, to marry again, then they come down here at the weekend and the rest of us will talk them out of it. Like Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> no, I'll walk back now, wouldn't you? A good drink would kill you. Is that so? That is Stop so. it. Remember, united we stand, divided we fall. If all here agree, let's all speak with one voice and say, There's no chain in here. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't flush it. If you could forget about your kidneys for a minute, do you all agree? All men are deceivers. All men are dirty old groups. I like men. It's carried. Three to one. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. How does that work without flushing? <laughs> your cups. The toast is widows, coupled with the thought, <laughs> never again. Well, I'm not a widow, Ruby. Oh, you're just straight with widow. <laughs> yes. Never, never again. again. I never even tried it once. But you've never had, Lucy. You'll never miss. But I don't want to miss it, Ruby. Anyway, we should be talking like this in front of Sylvia. She's only a young girl. I'm almost 21. And besides, Sylvia and I have had a lot of talks together. I've made sure that no man will make a fool out of her. Anyway, love, you should be away at some of the dances and not cooped up here with a lot of old bogies like us. You speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've no interest in boys. That's not natural. A lovely looking girl like you. Ruby, you should let her go out more. Are you insinuating I keep her locked up? Sylvia knows she's free to go out with any boy she likes. Providing she brings him home and lets me see him first. Maybe she's afraid you might fancy him, Ruby. That's not funny. No, Ruby. It's not funny. <laughs> I wanted Sylvia especially to come here this weekend so she could hear at first hand how men have treated all of us and be warned. No, that's not necessary. Well, you're going to hear it, whether you like it or not. Ah, it's getting very dark in here. Can we put on a few lights? I'll do it. Oh. I think this is romantic. In the gloaming, oh my darling, when the nights are dim and low. When you're finished, I'm finished, because that's all I know. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong, Rachel? Oh, I'm going to swear it's all this in that window. Oh, all of a sudden, I don't feel a bit safe over miles from nowhere. Oh, don't you worry, you're as safe as hands. It's here nobody would want to molest you. <laughs> Come to order. I will start the proceedings. Sylvia already knows the kind of life I've had with her father, so mine will be short and sweet. Like all men, all oh, before we were married, he promised me the earth, the moon, and the stars. A beautiful cottage with roses around the door. You see, he was going to work his fingers to the bone for me. He was a fret worker. He worked one day and he fretted the next. <laughs> that man, oh, he only had three ambitions in life. To get a long service medal at the labour exchange, to break the bookies and to drink the pub straw. He didn't drink all that much, Mum. <laughs> Did he not? One night when you were five years old, he came home sober and he scared the living daylights out of you. You wanted to know who the stranger was. The day that man died, Guinness shares fell six points. 
Now that's all I'm going to say about him, as I don't want to blacken his character anymore. Because <laughs> it has taught me one lesson. Never, ever again. Rachel, let's hear from you. <clears throat> as you all know, I was married in the cathedral with over 200 guests. Reception in the castle, picture in the tackler, and honeymoon for three weeks in the south of France. <gasps> Vanessa, we are your friends. We know about your wedding. You were married in the High Street Methodist Church. You had a hand round buffet in the church hall. <laughs> Counting ourselves, there was 20 at it. Your picture was the size of a postage stamp in the church magazine, and your honeymoon was three days at your sister's in Bangor. Oh, but it was to be the other way, only he deceived me, told me he was a government official. Turns out he was a part-time postman. And even when he died, he deceived me. He wasn't insured. I never got a penny out of him. So like you, I say never again. Next year from you. Will I get to speaking, Ruby? After Rachel. Yes, Ruby. No. Two started. Oh, come on, force yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm trying to tell you mine. Will you keep quiet? If I must, I must. Well, it all started on my honeymoon. Yes. Go on, Rachel. Will you keep quiet? Oh, please, go on, Rachel. Sylvia, this is for your education, not your enjoyment. <laughs> we had just ordered supper in our room, and while we were waiting for it, I decided I would change into my pajamas. <gasps> pajamas? On your honeymoon? Yes, my pajamas. Just because I was married, I didn't see any way to change my way of life. So, I asked him to go and stand in the corner and close his eyes. Well, I had just taken off my dress. Something made me turn around and he wasn't in the corner with his eyes closed when he was right beside me! Oh, and he had a wild, hungry look on his face! Maybe he wanted his supper. Well, he made a move and he pounced on me off. It was just when Heaven's mother had worn me off. All men are dirty old fruits.
stuff was 15 years ago, and I haven't seen him from that day to this. <laughs> Don't even use his own name. Can I give my testimony now, Ruby? I suppose so, but will you try and keep it short? Oh, I will, Ruby, I will. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies, my story begins at the end of the last war. It was V.E. night. Or was it V.J. night? No, I'm telling lies. It was V.E. night. Does it really matter? Oh, yes, Ruby. I have to get my story straight. Myself and the girls were dancing around the bonfire doing the Congo. Have you ever done the Congo, Sylvia? Where you get on with your story, please? <laughs> Sorry, I get carried away. Here it was. Yes, that's how long I'm doing the combo. When this fella came on at the end behind me, and Sylvia, he was gorgeous. He was a sergeant in the Air Force, and he had the loveliest big moustache going from one side of his face to the other. And I have to see, he asked to see me home. And we were standing in the hall, and he kissed me. And Sylvia, if you've never been kissed by a mouth and moustache, then you've never lived. You get a kiss in your nose, and take it all at the same time. There's no way to gasp or to giggle. But we stood in the hall until four in the morning. And when I went in, my mother nearly killed me, but it was worth it. Two weeks later, he proposed and I said yes and Will you get on with your story or this weekend will be over before you get finished? <laughs> and we were to be married the next week. And that was to be the happiest week of my life. Going out and picking the wedding dress and the veil and all the wee knickknacks and buying the marriage books. You know the ones that tell you everything. I get them cover to cover. But when the time came, I wanted to be ready. When you get to the point. Yes, I'm getting there. The, next. the morning of the wedding came, and there I was, dressed all of my white organdy. I had a last big look at the books, and off I went to the church. And he wasn't there. Oh, you mean he let you down? No, it wasn't his fault. See, he was only married with a wife and three children oh. in Manchester. <laughs> You'd make out as if they were trying to give you a lick. The sad thing about it was, Sylvia, my head was full of all this knowledge out of the books, and you see, there's been nobody since, and so I couldn't put it into practice, and I'd hate to die in one for it. Oh, never mind, Lucy. Someday your prince will come. Prince? At this point in time, Sylvia, I was seven for the big man, so I don't say never again. I say once again. Your presence is in my caravan. <laughs> what are these squatters 
or what? Uh, we, we are niece. We're, we're trespassing. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Anybody else have anything to say? Is it raining? <coughs> no, I, I sweat a lot. <laughs> you should say perspire. It is raining. Oh, I've been raining now for about 50 minutes. And before that, the sun was shining and the sky was blue. But then come on, the rain was light, hey, I thought. And with the way it's falling out there, I wouldn't be a bit surprised now. I said, listen, you don't have to give them a weather forecast. <laughs> if someone asked you the time, you'd give them the history of clockmaking. Oh, they look very wet, those clothes. Maybe you should get out of them. You could catch your clothes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get two over here beside me now. <laughs> Oh. How did she get in? I locked the door. Well, you see. <laughs> I must have mixed up, mixed up the wee man's directions. But when we tried the key in the lock, oh. it wouldn't work. So Ruby here broke the lock. There's something wrong, Ruby. You, you, broke, you broke the lock? What are you, middle-aged vandals or what? Oh, no, no, no. We're all widows, except Sylvia and me, but I'm a special case. <laughs> I think you're on good taste. You see, my story began at the end of the last war. It was me. <laughs> Not now, Lucy. But they have been heard it, Ruby. Not now, Lucy. Yes. Well, we like to hear it. Then you're not going to. I suppose you'd like us to leave. Well, no, I don't want to rush it already. But in less than five minutes, I want to be in that bed over there. <laughs> Oh, if you went. Before that, 
You're off again, aren't you? You, you realise you're holding these people back from leaving. Oh, don't worry, we're going. Come on, Sylvia. Oh, the tea's not ready yet. They can make their own. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> Could I ask where are we going? <laughs> Up to our own caravan, of course. But, but, but where is our caravan? I thought this was our caravan, Ruby. Well, you were wrong, weren't you? Yes, Ruby. We'll just have to find ours. Uh, that's the style. Oh. It's pitch black out there. And with all that rain, the roads were going to be in a quagmire. Oh, you're right there. Oh, no, 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 Will you keep quiet? <coughs> And that's the spirit. <laughs> I'd rather stay here. Yeah, why can't they stay there? <laughs> you two keep out of this. Can't you see they want to go? And I'm not going to stop it. Oh, 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 did that mean you'd have no objections to us staying? I didn't say that. <laughs> Five women and three men into one caravan just won't go. I don't mind a tight squeeze, in fact, I'm all for it. So am I. But I'm not. And neither am I. So come on, ladies, let's go. Oh, it's very dark out here. We'll all be attacked and assaulted. Oh, well, you just keep on hoping, Rachel. <laughs> Goodbye. It was really nice meeting you. Same here. Thanks for the tea. Uh, you can borrow his torch. Oh, thanks. Oh, that means we'll have to meet again, so... <laughs> we'll meet again, I hope not. Well, same here, I don't think. Come on, Lucy. Coming, Ruby. I hope we meet again. You remind me of an Air Force Sergeant I once knew. Only difference is he had red hair and a stash. I was half of her size, but more than that, you're just fitting in each other. <laughs> You know, this reminds me of a song. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Sorrowing widow. Sorrowing, yes. From the time she's making up the ham salads, she's thinking to herself, how could I have gotten to put another half crown on himself? And when you're gasping your last, she's thinking, how she's going to look in black. I don't see what you're getting to. But I see what you may know, Harry. I see, even he understands. Don't get married, you live longer. But I thought married men live longer. Oh no, no, it only seems longer. <laughs> ah, but you must admit though that that woman's daughter Sylvia is a very nice girl. Listen, don't look at her, look at her mother. Because that's her in 20 years' time. <laughs> that woman had a vice in her, that would have cut car. She'll never be like her mother. Famous last words. Ask any married man. Yeah, they'll tell you. Listen. When they get married, just let themselves go. I like to maybe she hates you. <laughs> he, he, did you say? Tis well seen you've never married. Yeah. You're going to 
to bed and you're just getting nice and cosy and warm. And about an hour after, your wife comes up after you. And she pants feet like icicles on the broad of your back. <laughs> and when you object, you don't love me anymore. <laughs> How can anybody love two big frozen feet? <laughs> The vault that cold feet. She's just ready for marriage. She's ready for anything. No, I'm getting ready for bed. <coughs> right, I'll tell you where these tea things. Well, I'm not me, Jesus. <laughs> Listen, this is the life, lads. A weekend away, just the peace and quiet of the countryside. No women nagging you. Just to be at one with nature. Nothing like it.
come on in, so. She's too embarrassed to go in while you're all in there. Right, we'll, we'll come in there, so. Hurry up! I don't mind, Ruby. You have to come outside for a minute. <laughs> Poor man up there! Oh, no, come on, that will be for a minute. Oh, what are you a minute, did you say? You released there's five of them. Maybe this could take all night. <laughs> right, come on.
Harry. <laughs> Harry. What? <laughs> Harry. What? 
you're not missing much. <laughs> no, listen, listen. Go to sleep. Yes, no one wants. You're out. <laughs>
bed. <laughs> what was you think of? What am I saying? Oh, I wouldn't like to tell you. <laughs> she needs, can you give her a hoist? Yeah. Oh, if I have enough strength left. <laughs> oh, you look very strong. Very strong indeed. <laughs> Do you think so? No. Mr. Universe! Well, uh, I used to a lot of keep fit and everything. Oh, yes, you said. <laughs> like a man who likes to keep himself fit. I used to do a lot of weightlifting. Oh, well then, can you give me a lift up onto the punk? Oh, right, yes, the punk. <laughs> The man wants to get to bed. Get bed. bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going yet. I'm going! <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. All that. Oh, you're strong as you. Flirt with him and him believe in every word of it. Well, what wrong with his Do you know something? I think you actually fancy him what? yourself. What? Me? Fancy him? Yes. I wouldn't take the gift of him. Oh, he's not that bad, Ruby. Oh, will you shut up? <laughs> yes, Ruby. Ruby, do you want to sleep on the inside or the outside? You can sleep on your backside for all I care. <laughs> Me? Fancy him? Indeed. Get to bed, the lot of you. Yes, Ruby. Not bad, are you? Not bad. Yeah, pick the wrong place. 
case. <laughs> if I explain the position to you, you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 Robbie! Do you two know each other? I do! Well, we can, and we are. 
He has his rights, you know. By God, he has no rights. He left her six months after being married. Just a minute. You didn't tell me you left her. I couldn't stick it any longer. Was <laughs> <laughs> she nagging you? Was that it? No. No. <laughs> you see, we never... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> but I hope you weren't thinking of running off with them. Oh, Rachel, a 
as if you could think such a thing. <laughs> They're fighting over your <laughs> What's your answer? You'll get it in the morning. She's going to sleep on it. <laughs> That'll make a change. It'll shortly be morning anyway. Ruby. What? How am I going to get up into that boat? <laughs> You're not getting in that boat. You and I are sleeping down here. And where am I going to sleep? Get in there with Rachel. <laughs> Rachel? Yes. <laughs> it's nearly morning as it is. Sylvia will be home soon and she can use the top bunk. Ruby, can I read for a while? Oh no, Lawrence <laughs> House. <laughs> Look, um, it's getting there. We might as well try to get some sleep while we can. Hey, you in there? Will you give your son Alan another shout and tell him to bring home my daughter here safely? Uh, listen, sleep here, all right? I, I, I don't want to be in clothes, but you... Uh, listen, for all the sleep you're going to get, uh, sleep as you are. I, I won't call out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
if it's not an ordinary, why are we getting up? <laughs> because Vanessa's absconded with Wilfred. What does that mean? <laughs> She's done a bump with him. Oh. So why are we getting up? <laughs> because in about ten minutes, a herd of women are going to come pouring through here. They're getting ready now to go look for them. They're getting dressed. Come on, we get dressed too. <laughs> no, stay where you are. Is it Lucy? Who would I know? Lucy! Are you going out? Yes, Ernie. Are you? Oh, I am now. <laughs> Are you coming with you, Lucy? Would you like to come out with me, Ernie? Just let anyone dream to stop me. <laughs> Don't go out there, it's a search party, it's not a beach party. Are you coming, Ruby? Of course I am. Sylvia's still out there. And anyway, I want to keep an eye on you. I'll be all right, Ruby. Sure, I want to be with Ernie. That's why I want to keep an eye on you. Are you ready, Rachel? Hi. Are you a woman happy? No. I want to stay here. I want to have a nice, quiet read. Right, ladies, let's go. Oh, oh you are right, Ruby. Oh, no, I've twisted my ankle. Oh, look at you, go on, I'll catch up with you. Oh, you just wait till I meet up with that Vanessa. I put the notion I met out of her head. Oh, my poor innocent Wilfred. Go on, I'll catch up, go on. Are you ready, Ernie? Are you ready? <laughs> Don't force yourself. 
don't know whether this is a, a late supper or an early breakfast. <laughs> well, dawn's breaking. And so is my back. <laughs> what must Lucy have thought? So what could she have thought? What are we doing? Nothing. I know that, and you know that. But does she know that? I shudder to think what she must have thought you were doing to me. As if I would. Sure, it's ridiculous. <laughs> How do you mean ridiculous? Well, well, you know what I mean, sure. We're both past things like that. <laughs> you! Speak for yourself. No. Oh. I thought you were all against me. I couldn't get one if I wanted. I'm not 90, you know. I didn't say you were 90. No, but you implied it. Of course, you might be past it. Who said I'm past it? You did. Well, I'm not. Well then, why don't you marry again? Because I'm too happy the way I am. <laughs> but don't think I couldn't get one if I wanted. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, certainly. But women must be throwing themselves at your feet by the hundreds. No, by the thousand. <laughs> Listen, any man can get a wife. The trick is getting rid of them. There's plenty of would-be wives about all right. <laughs> Husbands are not scarce either, you know. Oh, I know. The graveyard's full of them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, and on his headstone it reads, Rest in peace. It's only peace he's had in years. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, that's so. Uh, two lumps? Yes. <laughs> Say it here. Yeah, do you know, that's why women get out of credit. When a man's born, what's said? How's the mother? Yeah. When he gets married, doesn't she look beautiful? So he needn't be there at all. And even when he dies, and he should be the centre of attraction, what's said? How much did he leave her? <laughs> if that's the case, why do men bother with women? Sure, it's not nervous. <laughs> Nobody forces them to get married, you know. You're joking. Listen, once a woman gets her claws into a man, he has no chance. Three nights after they've met, she has them home to tea on Sunday, stuffing them full of home bacon, <coughs> apple tarts, and sponge cake, and, and chocolate eclairs, till they're coming out in his ears. He could still get away, you know. <coughs> get away? After eating two ton of sponge cake, <laughs> apple cake, fruit cake, nut cake, and the cake from which there's no return. Wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'll wait. A woman wears white and a man wears black. <laughs> you know why you let a man speak for his wife on the day of his wedding? Because the last chance he'll ever get to speak for himself. <laughs> That's why they call it the mother tongue. Fathers never get a chance to use it. <laughs> You'll have me in tears in a moment. According to you, men are the big softies. So they are. Except when it comes to buying their wives' clothes. Clothes? Sure, when a woman gets married, she has no right to her back. <laughs> And two years after marriage, though, she's covered in them. And then how is it then? A man has to say, with all my worldly goods, I do in that. <laughs> worldly goods? That's a joke. A picture of his mother and a broken down bicycle in the corner. <laughs> all women go into marriage with their eyes closed. Aye, and a man gets his opened. <laughs> <laughs> what preparation does a man make for getting married? None. Yet a woman's expected to be able to wash and make beds, darn and so cook and bake. Read and mow. Read and mow. <laughs> You're very funny. If men had to work the same hours as women, there'd be a general strike. A 16 hour day is what she does. And when she does manage to crawl up to bed, <coughs> guess what? What? Oh, dear, he is lying there. With a big smile on his face, and it's <laughs> Who's we in his baby leg is this? <laughs> I never in my life said 
whose weight is itty bitty is this. However, I did say, whose weight itty bitty frozen foot is this. <laughs> well, what do you know? You can smile. No, that's the first time I ever saw you smile. Is it now? Yes. Actually, you have a nice face when you smile. I see. Only when I smile. Well, you know what I mean. Go on, smile again. No, I will not. Yes, go. Actually, it's fascinating the way your cheek moves when you smile. Go on, smile again. No, I feel foolish. Go on, smile. No, when you stop it, you're making me blush, so you are. Oh, you've got a lovely wee dimple on your cheek when you <laughs> smile. Go on, smile again. No, I do it. Yes, you have. Oh, look, just, just, just there. Soft skin. <laughs> <laughs> You've said that to me before, you know. Did I? Indeed, you did. Uh, well, uh, we'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> yes, uh, right, tea. <laughs> yeah. I pour it. You do pour. Successful and handsome. <laughs> so, you see, uh, Vanessa's uh, out of will for you. With Rachel trying to get, get him back. Lucy's out sport herself with Ernie. And um, your Sylvia's out with my Anna. Oh, and we should be out looking for them. Who? Sylvia, of course. I think they'll be okay. Sure, look, there's plenty out there now looking for them. Uh, actually, it's, it's quite nice sitting here talking to you. And we're getting on to find so don't shout at each other, so no more shouting. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Besides, sir, if anything was going to happen between Sylvia and Alan, it would have happened by now. <laughs> How do you mean have happened? As you put it, nothing will have happened. I told you before that my Sylvia is a good girl. And I am a good boy, so he is. Well, I'm glad to hear it. No more shock. We're shocking again. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so am I. Is there anybody in? Oh, oh uh, it's, it's the owner of the land. It's, it's Mr. McGonigan. Is that you, Mr. McGonigan? Hi, it's me, Mr. Bradshaw. Yes, uh, yes, so, so it is. I hope I didn't disturb you. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I didn't want to come back today on and out, you know. I like that, you know. Oh, yes, sir, uh, of course you are, Mr. McGonigal. I, I, uh, I, I'll see you later, Mr. McGonigal. Uh, I, I on your own. Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> I, I, I come in for a minute, so, you know, I mean. 
and everything. You could always send my your second wife. I couldn't do that. Well, if you find it too distasteful, I'll hide here under the bed. I don't come off. No, no. Don't be silly. Well, how are we going to convince him that I am your wife? Oh, very simple. Just keep shouting at me. Second wife. Oh, hi. <laughs> We're married. Oh, hi. <laughs> We're on our honeymoon. Honeymoon? But you're up very early for one. Did you see with all the activity last night? Oh. I mean. <laughs>
particularly women around here. Yeah, he does not. Josie would do. She's not really in it today, though. I tell you now, the story with Josie, she's been waiting so long for a ship to come in. I'm afraid her peers have collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'll be far like more my friend of the so you are. I do a lot of Harry, you don't be a man, Harry, I tell you that much. I don't be a man. Don't get him out of here before the others get back. My name's Mud. So please, will you help me? <laughs> please, will you help me? You take back all you said about women. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> right, so. I hope we're not keeping you from your work, Mr. Oh, McDonagan. No, 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 I've got no rush for me at all. Tell you, you make lovely tea. I, I made it. <laughs> well, it's lovely. <laughs> hey, did you see any sign of me bull at the end of the chance? What? Me bull. Me, me broke out last night. What? What? Me bull. I, I, I hate to miss him, you know. Lose him. How are you? Thank you. 
don't worry. If our plan works out, I give you plenty of cheese. Now, we'll talk first. Are you sure you're not married? Oh, God, Lucy, I, I never even kissed a girl until tonight. Oh, oh no, no, I, 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 I want to be honest about that now, Lucy. I didn't kiss a girl once. Was it a sexy kiss? I was at a Christmas party, Lucy. <laughs> Wake up! Hey, I can't wake him up! Maybe if you wave some cheese under his nose! I think he 
is a mouse. Oh no, <laughs> all men are rats. <laughs> what, what, Ernie, will you wake up? Ernie, come on. Ernie, don't wake up. Don't hit him, don't hit him. Oh, you couldn't hit him hard enough. There, now, Lucy, control yourself. Don't cry over them. None of them works. Ernie, will you come on? Will you wake up? <laughs>
Because there's more, right? That's it. No, 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 Wilfred. Steady on. Remember, you have an audience here. <laughs> Wilfred. You're coming home with me. I feel very funny, Wilfred. <laughs> right, the car seats. Come together up your sofa. Come on with me. Oh. Thunder out there. <laughs> well, what can we 
son. I suppose if he can trust his son, then I can trust <coughs> my daughter. Oh, thanks, Mum. <laughs> All right, so we had a school results, are you? Wait, wait a minute now, wait. I thought you said that um, the school ran out of petrol. Uh, yeah, well, um, you see that. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I see, all right. Go on before I change my mind. Cheerio, that. And thanks, Lucy. Just remember, we trust you. Yes, we trust you. Isn't it not wonderful? Smash it. <laughs> Do you remember anything we talked about early? Oh, about me not being married? No, when you were down on one knee, Ernie. Oh, I wasn't down on one knee, Lucy. Oh, Ernie! Ah, that's the second time they've done that to her. Oh, oh you know, oh, oh, oh. Well, whatever it is you're doing, I wish I wouldn't do it. Ah, oh, Lucy, stop crying, Lucy. I said something, I'm sorry, Lucy. Uh, I, 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 I'd like to think that we could meet again a whole lot of times, because I like you, Lucy. Uh, in, in, in fact, I, um, I, 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 I love you. Why did we say that again? Well, I'm sorry if I said something that I'd like to No, Ernie, just the last part. <laughs> I love you. And I love you too, Ernie. <laughs> Sorry, we'll, we'll turn our heads. <laughs> Harry, would uh, you mind if I went home? Huh? <laughs> what time you're going dancing as well? <laughs> oh God, Harry. I wouldn't believe in wasting the energy dancing. <laughs> oh, away you go. Go on. <laughs> now, the car's fixed. Anyone for a spin? Yes, we're coming. I'll just get my bag. Just be as quick as you can. Rich, as we. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you, Harry. Yes, well, Lucy, it was nice to meet you. Uh, do you know what? I, I hope we meet again. Of course we will, Harry. At our wedding. Come on, you. I'll give you plenty of cheese when we're married. <laughs> well, I never said anything about getting married, Lucy. <laughs> You're not home yet, Ernie. <laughs> no, nothing on, no, nothing on. Goodbye, Harry. We well, can't hear the catch fish, Harry. <laughs> That's what you get for being impetuous. <laughs> Well, I suppose I'd better be going. It was nice meeting you. We've had a few fights, but sure, after what about it? Yes, yes, sir. Sure, what about it? But it's all nice for making up, isn't it? Ah, oh, isn't it? Your son, Alan. Ah, sure, he's a lovely lad. What about your daughter, Sylvia? I have to say, she's a lovely girl. Oh, so I'm glad to hear it. Yes, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but Wilfred's in an awful hurry. Um, <coughs> you'll have to be going. You're holding my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, it's all right. Um, where are you going anyway? Well, up to me own caravan, of course. But, uh, Wilfred and Rich are losing that. Oh, <coughs> no, I'd forgotten about that. Well, look, if you like, you could, Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I know. Uh, what? No, it doesn't matter. But sure, I may go home then, sure. There's nothing else here for me, is there? Good, goodbye, Harry. <laughs> goodbye, Harry. Now, why didn't I think of that? Now, um, maybe, maybe it's not going to That, I suppose.
appears quite in here. Do you know what I do? I know exactly what to do. I set up the rod and I go and do myself a bit of fishing. Would you have a spare one? Ruby, you came back. There wasn't enough room in the car. I don't suppose now for me to say to stay here. Sure, I don't see why not. So we're both adults. I tell you what, I'll sleep in this boat down here, and you can sleep up there. Agreed? Oh, agreed, agreed. Now, there is one condition to it. <coughs> but what's that? You change your mind about marriage. <coughs> well, you know what? It's already changed. Do you know what, Ruby? Men really can't do without women. And women can't do without men. <laughs> I owe you something. What? Oh. 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 Now, do you know what we'll do? We'll have a nice, quiet weekend here ourselves. It'll be nice and quiet, just the two of us. Oh, Harry, just the two of us! Harry! Harry, you're going to have to protect me! Oh, what from? From, from? from him? Who? Him in the trench! <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, what a great performance. The cast have put in a huge effort over the last couple of months, and you can see the laughs that you had here tonight. What a fantastic night. So, well done, guys. <laughs> and to John Patton, producer of the show as well, John put in a huge amount of effort as well, has been here night and day, so please show your appreciation. Um, just going to quickly do the raffle here now, so I have the tickets here.